Well, hello and welcome to What On What You Don't Need. And today we are going to have a closer look at this beauty from Casio. This watch, I did the unboxing of this watch. Go and check out the video. I'll leave a link in the description below. This is the Casio A158 with this golden brown dial. Now, the only difference between the more common A158 and this particular model is the dial, the color of the dial. Other than that, the functions are all the same. Now, let's have a look at the functions. You have your home screen displaying, of course, your, your local time with hours, minutes, seconds. You have the day of the week and you have the day of the month. Plus, here you can see if there's a 24-hour or an AM, PM time display mode. This one does not have a perpetual calendar, so you will have to set to reset the date uh, during leap years, but, but I think that's not too big of a nuisance. Let's see the second feature. The second feature is your alarm. Now the alarm on this one is nice and crisp, just like the one on the F91 or yeah, the A168. I'll see the 24 hours format uh, you, here you have your alarm set, here you have your chime, your hourly chime, and you can set both or none. After the alarm you have your stopwatch, and of course you have the function that no one uses, which is the lap function. Now if I press stop here, this will only give me one measured lapse of time, and then I reset it. But if I press the start stop button, and instead of pressing it again, I press the reset button, the chronometer will keep on running in the back. I can jot down the first elapsed time and you can see that there's the indication lap here and then when I'm finished with the second lap or when I have to time the arrival of the second participant to the race, I simply press stop. I still have time to jot down the first time measured and then one press of the reset button will give me the second time. I jot it down and with the second press of the reset button it all goes back to zero. Nice feature. And then we're back to the home screen. I like this watch a lot. It has a resin case which has been painted in chrome varnish with chrome painting or varnish. The bracelet on this one is so very comfortable. In fact, from the day I got this one and I did the unboxing of this watch, I have not been wearing any other watch until five days ago when I got this very big and chunky watch. I got it as a gift. I changed the strap, go and watch the reviews of this Timex Expedition and of the new strap that I put on. So I have been wearing this for five days, but before this Timex I have worn the Casio A158 for, I don't know, almost a month every day, except when I had to do activities that involved being in contact with water. This one has water resistance, as you can see, and you, you all know that Casio water resistance is a very trustworthy water resistant. I mean, I think one could swim with this watch with no problem. And in fact, there are videos of A158 and A168 being used to swim. But yeah, I wouldn't risk it because I consider this a piece of jewelry, very affordable jewelry, but still jewelry. I was saying I like the bracelet on this one. It's so very comfortable. It has a very nice buckle with Casio on it. You can see that it already has a scratch here, but I will show you in one of my further videos how to get rid of this scratch as if nothing had happened to it. The bracelet, of course, is made of folded steel, but you are the only one who knows it when you take off your watch and you turn it because when you're wearing it, it looks like this, and this is a very nice look. It is a very light watch. Only 44 grams. I mean, of course, your F91 will weigh around 20 grams, but 44 grams, you almost don't feel it on your wrist. Yeah, what else can I say? The measurements are that of the usual 
of the usual A158, so you have a width of 33 mil, a height of the watch of, yeah, just a bit shy of 36 mil, which is also your uh, lug to lug, yeah, 35.7, 35.8, and for a thickness of 8.6 mil, this watch is not chunky at all. It sits almost flush on your wrist. You almost do not realize it's there. Uh, but when you look at the time, when you look at your wrist, you are very, very happy because, I don't know, 